Rockford City and asked people if they could identify him. Let's see what they had to say. Um, a football player. No. No. No, he's an actor or a rock star or something like that. Hulk Hogan? He looks like he plays soccer. That's about it. Uh, is that David Beckham? No, not the one of you. Is it Beckham? This is the kid, right? Which kid? Mr. Kid, the guy who's getting divorced. Yeah, he's married to that Spice Girl. Was oh, he an actor? Wait, did he used to play for the Cosmos? He's married to a Spice Girl. Oh, David Beckham. David Beckham. <laughs> See that name, Spice Girl, and we know who the guy is. <laughs> <laughs> So, believe it or not, not everyone knows who David Beckham is. We're joined right now by ESPN's Tommy Smith, who was the first to know that this would happen, because, Tommy, I remember, I'll give you credit where it's due, two, two and a half years ago, you were in this very studio, and you said he would one day play in Major League Soccer, and now he's here. Give us three reasons why we're going to end up loving David Beckham. Well, you know, when I interviewed him, he had that hair, but he looked at my hairstyle and he said, that hair has to go, so he <laughs> copied my hairstyle. He called my barber. You're but, pulling it off. But seriously, David Beckham, he felt that he had a burning desire that he wanted to play in the United States. I mean, you know, he called his kid Brooklyn. I mean, just because the kid was conceived in Brooklyn, I made the point to him, you know, if he had been in Ireland at that time, I come from a place called Hackball's Cross. You think the kid has it tough now? <laughs> Imagine if the kid was called that. You know, but he definitely loves the American way of life. He wanted to be part of the American way of life, and that's one of the reasons why he's coming here. Of course, the second reason that you give is, you know, the women love him. Females, uh, no matter what age they are, they definitely go for David Beckham. In but a do they buy way. tickets? Yeah, they buy tickets. They They'll buy, buy tickets. tickets. Okay. If, if the Beatles were around now, he would be the fifth Beatle. In yeah. fact, in Spain, they had suggested, you know at the end of the game where they exchanged jerseys? Yeah. They asked David Beckham, would he do it in the tunnel, please? Because there were too many young women in the stand fainting every time he showed the six-pack, you know. Yeah. That's, that was the, we all that have was that the, problem. That was the second reason. And, of course, the third reason is even if you don't like soccer or even if you don't appreciate the subtleties of the game, the skill that David Beckham brings from a dead ball situation. I mean, you watch a, a pitcher curve a ball. You can see David Beckham do the same with a free kick. So Will he, he be that much better than any other player in Major yeah, League Soccer? He, well, he should be. Paying him that kind of well, money, he I, better he should be, be that but will good. he be? But that's, that's a big question. I imagine he will be, yeah. I think that he will put on quite a show for himself, and he will lift the game. And if all those fail, go back to two. He looks good in shorts, to tell me. So <laughs> you've got, you got a lot of options here, Jay. And now, obviously, Major League Soccer is banking heavily on the fact that he will put them on the map. $250 million, 50 million of which will come from the Galaxy. Uh, what impact at the end of the day will he have on soccer in America? I think you've already seen the impact. We're here talking about him today. I guarantee you every television station in this country had something on about David Beckham. Every radio station. People on the street may not know Beckham now, but I guarantee you within six months they will know him. So he's going to become the face of MLS. What MLS do with him after that, of course, is their problem. He will put them on the map. One player, just like one swallow doesn't make a summer, one player does not make <laughs> a league. So they're going to have to do other things as well. They're going to have to bring in other players as well. But Beckham is certainly going to become the face of MLS. And it's going to be a face that's going to, I think he'll challenge George Clooney for a few of those front pages on some of those uh, magazines in Hollywood. I'm sure he will. Tommy Smith, always good to see you. By the way, the 2007 MLS Super Draft is coming up next right here on ESPN2. It starts at noon Eastern time. For more now on the financial impact of David Beckham's arrival, here's Dana. Jay, financial aspect is sort of an understatement, with Beck's deal reportedly worth about $250 million in salary and endorsements over the next five years. To give it some context, we're joined by John we Weinbach of the Wall Street Journal. John, is, is this a good business move for the LA Galaxy? Well, I think obviously it remains to be seen. It depends on uh, what David Beckham can bring in the way of a jersey sponsorship, in the way of ticket sales, in the way of premium seats. The initial reaction has been pretty strong, as we noted in the article today. Within hours of the announcement, they had already signed up 1,000 extra season ticket holders and 100 premium seat holders. So clearly, uh, Philip Anschutz, Tim Laiwicki, uh, you know, the executives at Anschutz Entertainment Group, believe that he's worth uh, the investment. And uh, his sponsors certainly aren't shying away from their deals. Uh, 25, you know, 20 to 25 million of the, quote, compensation he's going to get is coming from them, not coming from uh, MLS. I was, uh, as far as the team goes, and not just MLS, but the LA Galaxy, how can they afford to pay him close to $50 million a year? Well, they're not going to be paying him $50 million a year. The, the breakdown is basically as such. $10 million is going to be coming from the team. 
uh, 20 to 25 million of his annual uh, compensations coming from endorsements. That would he would be getting that whether he played for Real Madrid at the LA Galaxy, Upper West Side United, it wouldn't matter. Right. Um, and then the unique part of this deal that I think people don't seize upon is the fact that he's going to be getting an enormous chunk of jersey sales. He's going to be getting an estimated 40 to 50 percent of jersey sales. Plus, he's going to become a profit participant in the club revenues. That's an unprecedented deal uh, for a soccer player, much less uh, for any athlete. Um, and that's basically what they're banking on. They're saying he's going to be able to bring in more money, more uh, people in the seats. Financially, obviously, a very good move for him. And business-wise, are there any potential pitfalls, though? Well, obviously, if he gets injured, uh, that's a major uh, problem, not only uh, for the Galaxy, but also for his, uh, his sponsors. Obviously, if he's, if he's really not up to form. But I think uh, one thing we have to keep in uh, perspective, everyone's calling him over the hill. He's 31 years old. Right now, the leading scorer in the NBA is Allen Iverson. He's also 31 years old, and no one's calling him over the hill. Yes, David Beckham doesn't start for Real Madrid, but a lot of players in the world can start for that team. John Weinbach, thank you very much. We appreciate it for the financial aspect there. We still have more cold pizza coming up for you. Brian Dawkins is giving us a chance to find out just how ferocious he can be. We've had the Eagles safety Mike throughout the season. You don't want to miss the pain he's dishing out.